The life of an amateur fighter is, it's tough, it's a lot of hard work, um, but it's, it's been worth it so far. I'm not getting paid, um, nothing's guaranteed, you know, I could be injured, I could lose a bunch of fights. And it's just trying to be resilient and trusting in the process and just trying to get as much experience as I can. It's always gratifying, you know, when you finish a fight and even if you lose and you see how well you did, it's, it's a good feeling. On the east side of Los Angeles sits a Muay Thai gym inconspicuously named The Yard. Here, world champion kickboxers can be found training alongside amateurs under the tutelage of coach Mark Camuro. Today, 24-year-old Gabriel Lactine prepares for an upcoming amateur title fight. But fighting wasn't the only path available for the scrappy Californian. So I first got into fighting um, kind of by chance. I kind of had the idea, I think, in high school, but I didn't really get the balls until I was in my 20s. There was a point where I had a friend who invited me to like a cardio boxing spot. And for me, that was kind of like my way in. I was like, I could finally kind of check it out. And I had someone to go with me, so it was kind of like, all right, I, I'm safe. So once I started there, uh, it kind of gave me the confidence to kind of pursue fighting. I never really watched fighting. I never didn't really have any friends who fought. I just kind of thought it would be something I'd be okay at, so. <laughs> In fact, she would do better than okay, winning her first three amateur fights, eventually moving to LA and settling at the yard for training. Gabby's been here for, I want to say almost a year now. She's improved a lot. She picks things up really well. She learns really quickly. Uh, and she already naturally had good instincts, you know, in the ring. She's definitely a, a fighter, you know, she's got a fighter's heart. The yard is such a special place. I like that you can kind of come whenever you want and they get you right into sparring the first day if you want to. They're sparring every single day, which I think is super important for fighters. Today, Gabrielle is working with Coach Mark in preparation for her upcoming title fight. But this will not be the first time she's faced her June 9th opponent. So I'm rematching a girl who I fought about five weeks ago now. We fought at a tournament in Arizona for a championship bout. I had fought the day before and I had a really tough opponent. I was excited going into a tournament because I'm really just trying to get a you know, as much as experience as I can. Actually doing it was a lot more difficult than I expected. With fighting, it's, you know, in general, like not tournament style. It's, you fight and you recover and you kind of forget how, how difficult it is. So 
So fighting back to back, it's like, oh, that was really hard yesterday. I have to do it again. Like, I can't believe it. <laughs> so, mentally, it was hard because you feel all these nerves and this anxiety and the stress uh, on day one for the first fight. And then you kind of have to relive it all the next day. It was terrible. <laughs> It was a close fight, um, but it exposed uh, some of my weaknesses, some positioning issues, some balance issues, some awkward things I was trying to get out of in terms of placement, like in the clinch. I wasn't used to fighting uh, girls who like to clinch, so it was kind of like a, a big challenge for me. It made me inspired to work on those flaws and I got back to the gym and drilled everything that went wrong and thought about everything that went wrong and uh, it definitely made me better. No, the clinch is the only thing why you got that. So. Otherwise you're winning the fight. I think so. Oh, there you go. Boxing wasn't bad. I didn't feel any kicks at all. Uh -huh. But she caught a couple like good shots. Great, Great shots. So. I'm gonna see. Kick the shit out. Space kick, space okay. kick, and the camera. Yeah. One punch tackle. Yeah. <laughs> I love how like generous Yoshi and Mark are. They're just very involved. They're super, super knowledgeable. It's kind of rare. You see other gyms where coaches can be you know, greedy or very like boastful or I don't know. It's just like a different, very humble gym and it's really cool to be a part of. But me and Mark have been really working on my forward pressure, and that's kind of something we've been working on since I first started at the yard. I have a tendency to kind of like move around, move back. It's kind of like this mental thing almost, because he sees that I could dominate my opponent when I just kind of have that confidence and have that forward pressure. And that's kind of like a big thing at the yard is just pressure and aggression and fighting. Told me when I go forward, I take more damage. <laughs> But if you don't go forward, you're not giving any damage either. And then you get pushed back because you're hesitant to commit. You do it like in a spurt. Like when you get mad, you fucking run hard. Then you go, well, I don't want to get hit, so I'm going to stay here. And then you end up going back, 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 back. You have the power. You just have to get it in the right direction. Um, so we've been working a lot on that and things with my, my balance, my posture, just little tweaks and then definitely getting, you know, little tweaks with my, um, my punches, my kicks, just, you know, these tiny things that make a huge difference. Now you can move forward, sit back, like you, normally you're like, you're sitting on this foot and you're crunching down this way and you're like that. It's hard to walk, yeah, so you had to change to walk forward already. You hear? It's like you're standing over so you can step forward every time. Yeah, that has to go that way. Okay. Yeah, then you're gonna fucking back people. But you're sitting here and you're trying to hit me and you're not going anywhere. So then you yeah. feel like you're going back around. Yeah. It's just the pocket. Yeah. I know you're not just ignoring me. Was there any improvement at all? <laughs> you were trying, trying to go forward. You're trying to go forward, yeah. but it's almost impossible. Yeah. Like I can't do it. Because my posture is yeah. I felt like I was... A couple of times you did, but most of the time you're here. Yeah. And then you force yourself to go yeah. out, but you can't get any juice. Yeah, so it's working here. It's just yeah. not fucking yeah. working here. Yeah. Stick your ass up. Okay. This is the style of coaching at the yard. 
highly technical, with a strong emphasis on fundamentals. For Gabrielle Lactine, this means she enters the ring with confidence. And on June 9th, she will do so again to avenge a loss she suffered just 41 days prior. I've really focused on the things that she had an edge on, and really just working really hard to improve those things. So I'm definitely hoping to come away with the win for our rematch. She's tough, but I've been working really hard and I'm pretty confident. I've had a ton of inspiration for being a fighter and for continuing to fight. And mostly my teammates. To me, you know, someone who's been resilient despite losing, and that's what inspires me more than people who just win, 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 and have a lot of talent. Motivation and just sticking to it and having that grit. On June 9th, the pair is slated to rematch at the Burbank Marriott, this time for a title.